guys doing? So today, we're gonna be talking about protein precipitation. What, what the heck is protein precipitation? It's pretty much exactly as it sounds. You're precip pre precipitating proteins out of solution. So why do we need to do that? Well, say for example, you have a biological matrix and some samples in there you wanna analyze, like you're trying to look for a metabolite of a drug in urine or blood or serum. You can't just inject that sample straight on. You're gonna to need to precipitate out the proteins so they don't mess everything and gunk everything up. And then you're gonna get a cleaner sample so you can just analyze your samples of interest. Let me go through how people traditionally do it. Of course, there's a few variations on how you how you do this, but this is the general idea. You start out with a micro centrifuge tube and we're gonna hit this guy with some acetonitrile. So I'm adding about 500 microliters of acetonitrile here. So this is acetonitrile here. Get this guy. And then, Bink. Okay, and then we're gonna add about 10% of that, so maybe 50 microliters of urine. I got some hot piss here, I made it this morning. Let's go and add maybe 50 microliters of that. Ooh. So we're gonna add it in there. Ooh. And then we're gonna vortex this guy, probably for about a minute. All right. So now that we've vortexed, we got our precipitate out, we need to go ahead and spin this guy down. So let's go put this in the centrifuge. Now that it's spun down, you can see that there's two layers. And then we just want the supernatant, which is just the stuff on the top. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna get that into an HPLC vial. We got our HPLC vial here. Here I'm using a limited volume vial just because, you know, I don't have that much supernatant. So I'm gonna get my pipette tip. 200 microliter. Take that. Take my sample. Just take out the supernatant. Make sure not to disturb the pellet on the bottom. And this goes straight in the vial. And that's ready to go in the HPLC. Now, that sample is cleaner, but it's not super clean because I didn't filter it or anything. I just spun it down and took the super name. So it's a little bit junky. Now, there is a better way to do this with a filter vial. Let me show you how that's done. Let's get a filter vial out here. So this is what it looks like. You have your sample cup right here and you have your piston with the, with the filter down here. So let's do the same thing in the sample cup. Let's add the acetonitrile and sample up to the fill line. All right, let's pipette some acetonitrile in here. Let's pipette our sample. Now you put the plunger just part of the way down so we could vortex. Oh yeah. And then you can see now the protein is precipitated. And now all we have to do is just push down. And this is ready to go in the auto sampler. Now this sample is actually a bit cleaner because not only did you do the protein precipitation, but you also filtered the sample as well. And because you didn't have too much sample, you can't really get it in a syringe filter or something like that because you lose all your sample in the filter. But since this is all in one step, um, you can still do it get the sample precipitated, you can get the sample filtered, and it's even cleaner, it's even easier, and this is ready to go into your LC or mass spec. Yeah?